New allegations of sex abuse against a Metro priest. The latest victim says he's finally coming forward, hoping his case will give others the strength to seek help as well. KCTV 5 Stacy Cameron joins us live now from our newsroom with this man's story. Stacy. Carolyn, the claims of child sex abuse by local priests, they keep stacking up one after another. And every time it seems like the Catholic Church might weather the storm of controversy, another case and another alleged victim like David Tate steps forward. Standing on a sidewalk in downtown Kansas City. This is about justice. David Tate became the fourth person in less than a year to make claims like this against Father Michael Tierney. When I was 12, 13 years old, I was befriended by Father Tierney in a manner that made me feel comfortable around him. Eventually that led to him taking advantage of his position of power and sexually abusing me. Now in his 50s, Tate says the molestation took place 40 years ago. According to Tate, the scars of being sexually abused at a pool, at a home, even inside this church, still haunt him today. I've just now sought the help of a professional counselor to help me deal better with the past. But Tate says it's not the mental wounds that led him to file a lawsuit against tyranny. It's the idea of giving hope to other alleged victims of clerical sex abuse. By going public, I'm trying to send a stronger statement. I want to encourage other victims to come forward, either publicly or anonymously, so all abusers can be held accountable. The Kansas City St. Joseph Diocese did release a statement stating it had no prior knowledge of the abuse claims that Tate brought forward today. However, in June, church leaders took steps to remove tyranny from all pastoral assignments after a different set of sexual abuse allegations surfaced against the priest. Tenary had been a member of the cloth since 1969. In the newsroom, Stacy Cameron, KCTV 5 News.